And we are live. Part three of this uh, uh, Trahan pattern and Black Argus. Um, hopefully it's going to be uh, maybe the last part today. So let's uh, change the camera angle so we can uh, start to tie. And uh, first, hello everybody. And there we are. That was the progress of yesterday. Just having a sip of wine. And so, I reshaped the feathers just to get a lower profile overall. Because yesterday I had to, you know, just uh, restart. Um, so, let's put this one in. Let's see how it turns out. I don't want it to sit low. Yeah, nail polish is really good uh, for, for, for <laughs> those kind of things. Uh, yes, so we're talking about fixing GC and stuff, yeah. Um, not bad at all, I must say. There's a few other uh, options available, but I think that's the cheapest one. So if you have a split nails in the GC, um, I, I, I tend to add the polish on the back side and then try to uh, put the GC together. Let, let me flatten the stem because I want this one to be very, very tight towards the, the rest of the feather. So I'm just working on this. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe a bit. No, I'm not satisfied. I want it to be dicked on. <clears throat> so it might be easier if I tie it in like that. Let's have a look. Well, oh, even worse. <laughs> so, just gonna read up the chat so I don't miss anything important. Uh, just gonna pull this one out. Oh my God, that was terrible. So let me ha have a look. Very easy. Oh, okay. That, that's a new one for me, Darren. Because I, I don't add any paper on it. Uh, 
Uh, need to put it more up. And then I get that issue. And the same stuff. So these feathers are really annoying. I must say. Now it's gonna point out a lot. So let me just change the angle. That looks better. <clears throat> So I'm gonna keep that and then move to the other side, my side. But first a bit of wax. Okay, I'll give it a go. I just wonder how you can color a feather like that. So, so somehow they colored the white feather black, except that dot. Uh, it's quite interesting. And of course, nobody will, the ones doing it will not tell me because, uh, you know, it's business, right? And you need to respect people's business. So I'm going to flatten the stem on this one as well. Oh, quite nice. Just going to pull out that uh, Patinga subs and the Indian curl substitute. It's both on that side now. Yeah, most likely they are. <clears throat> and I had to pull the feather a bit because I did it too, too long. So there we are. Just gonna wet here a bit. Yeah, could could be. It could be the case actually. But but then yeah, could that's why it's it cost a bit. E even the, the substitute is not, you know. It takes a lot of time doing this substitute. So I think I paid like 25. Let me see if I have the bag. I think it's 25 US for a set. But but to be to be fair, 
it's a huge amount of work doing that. Yeah, I, I'm much, I'm much more pleased with the the angle of the wing today, because yesterday it was, you know, the the feather were too big. I would have to tie them on on a, like an eight o hook or something. Um, so I think the angle is much better now. Maybe a bit short. I could actually extend it longer, but that's too late now. So we need to work with what we got. So then we have this lovely. Let me see, because now I can actually remove everything underneath. So now it's buried wood duck. So I'm just going to cut everything away below the stem. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, I completely forgot. I got the package today. Uh, oh, something I bought. Uh, I'm preparing for this summer. So it's a, a wireless uh, iPhone microphone with uh, yeah, a bit of a noise reduction there. So when I go to the rivers, uh, when it's very windy, I can still make, uh, hopefully, uh, good uh, quality sound videos. So I'm collecting gears for for this year's uh, camping and uh, fishing trips. So so this summer I'm going to change a bit of content, so to say. It's going to be camping and fishing and fly tying. Uh, together. Uh, have not seen that so far. So, uh, hopefully, I don't get that many copycats. So, I can do something myself for a while. Uh, because I will be tying classic salmon flies next to the river uh, in hand and so on. Uh, maybe sometimes in a vice. And uh, yeah, take you to uh, northern part of Sweden and uh, Norway. <laughs> Film crew. Yeah, I can't afford that. Yeah, I'm I'm lucky if I get like uh, ten dollars a video that that I post on YouTube. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't afford a film crew on that that uh, salary, mate. So Barrett Woodock on that side, uh, not pleased with it. I think I need to change because it I wanted to cover um, yeah I wanted to cover like lower so I, I just gonna reset it and see how it's doing now it's better I'm pleased with that one There we go. And then if you can reuse the one I used yesterday on that side, that would be really nice. <clears throat> Oops. Let me see. I think it's too big. 
Yeah, so, so that's good because then I can just remove some fiber. So let's see where we are here. Now it's a better. But as you remember yesterday, let's see how it compacts. Nah, that's not usable. So let's change. Yeah, I can cut a bit on that. <clears throat> nah. Let's keep looking. Wrong side. Wrong side. Right side. So Let's see if I get a good compact uh, compression. Not bad. We can go with that. Yeah, you guys should hit the thumbs up. <laughs> no, I'm just pleased you guys are watching. I'm grateful for that. Uh, I don't do this for the money. Uh, if, if I make some, I'm, I'm grateful, but that, that's not really the purpose. Uh, but but uh, yeah, I wouldn't say no to it, of course. Uh, so I did pick a few, a bit more yellow feathers. <clears throat> And to be honest with you guys, this is not token. Uh, this is a uh, uh, colored swan neck uh, from Ryan Houston. He, he, he made a great uh, token substitute using uh, swan neck. And to be honest with you guys, you know, it's not bad at all. It's, it's really good. And I didn't want to, uh, you know, stress color my, my token neck you know, that I have. It's very white. <clears throat> so I go with this one instead. But that wouldn't uh, matter because most of the fly is substitute anyhow. But also that gives a good uh, good view on uh, if you like to color your own stuff. Then uh, sw Swan is uh, not bad at all. But of course I need to have a wax tread. Yeah, it's a really, really good substitute, I must say. You hardly see any difference. Uh, compared to the original, uh, yeah.
Just look at that. It just look, uh, look, it looks like a token. Uh, some more wax to the thread. But now, hmm, I'm not really pleased with the buried wood duck on my side, because it's uh, it's splitting a bit, and it doesn't cover below. So I'm gonna go back again and change that. It did look good for a while. But not anymore. So let me redo the work. That one we same because it did look good. Yeah, I tried it for uh, a lot of wheelings, really, uh, and it, it works well. Because in, in the wheelings, you use like three or four of them, and uh, yeah, it just builds up really good. Before I had a normal token, that, that was uh, what I um, used to uh, use, so to say. Just having a look at my leftovers. I think that that's going to be too small. Yeah. Might have to bring the box over with the leftovers or I take new ones. And just to give you. So this is the one, eh? and then you see on the back side. Eh? So if I pull a fiber here, it's going to be two or three. Let me just do that. Oh, it was four actually. I think it looks. Uh, Quite nice. So, in the hunt of some nice, yeah, that's gonna be nice. <clears throat> Barrett Wood Duck here. Let me put the, the other feathers away. <clears throat> hey, Monty, how are you? So, just cleaning up the table. And this is the one I'm going to use on my side. Hi, thanks a lot. So 
the question is, is if we can compact it so it looks good. I would say I, I'm pretty pleased with that one. So let's go and cover this side then. Not sure if I'm gonna be happy with it now when the other side is so good. Uh, this one needs to be a bit bigger. So let me see if we find the one or if I need to go into my shrinking staff of Barrett Budak. I got these patterns, all these patterns eat Barrett Budak. I might have like a three, four months of uh, uh, tying patterns without the buried wood duck like just to, you know, restock stuff. Here we have something. Yeah, that, that's going to look uh, quite nice. It's hard for me to, to put the right angle for you guys. It's the opposite of where I am. So let's just work with it. Thanks a lot. Uh, much appreciated. I'm, I'm really grateful. So. It's going to be close. Very, very, very close. So let's see if we can get this one to actually lay flat as we want it to do. Not really flat. Uh, let's reset them. Hi, Vortnik. How are you, buddy? So I need a bit more wax to the thread. I got carried away and forgot that. I'm gonna start with this side first. Your side, guys. Then I do this side.
Hmm. That works. Yeah, Daryl, give that a try. That could be something, yeah? So, a bit more wax. It's much longer, huh? Eh? Oh, just a little bit. Okay. Token substitute today, since that's the yellow, the, the right color, my token is uh, so white. <clears throat> now it's turning. Hi, David. How are you, buddy? Yeah, I'm on fire because I, I want to start a new pattern on Friday. Um, something uh, I'm going to tie in hand. So uh, I'm moving forward. So now we have most in place. So now we're talking um, topping. But now, since I have much lower, you see, today we were up here. So now we have much lower profile today, which I'm happy about. But that means those toppings doesn't match anymore. But that's not an issue. I got, got toppings for a lifetime. Yeah, maybe not the lifetime, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> in my tempo, it's going to last for a, for a couple of years at least. I might have like 50 or 60 heads. At least, yeah. When I find material, I buy as much as I possibly can afford with... Uh, Oh, come on. Have a look at this one. I think it's meant to be here. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Uh, 
Uh, I'm I'm really uh, happy you find uh, this channel and, and my content, and uh, I'm grateful uh, that you you like it. Um, classic salmon fly tying is a bit uh, different, uh, so so I'm 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 very happy. And I'm gonna add on. Uh, uh, you know, uh, do, doing live next to the rivers, fishing for salmon and uh, uh, do some camping and cooking and so on this summer. All right. Let's put that one in place. There we are. Yeah, come on. It's meant to be there. This topping was born to to be on this uh, this fly for sure but i want to add another topping i want to have a lot of rain so let's see what we can find Oh, yes. Just have a look at this. So I'm going to show you guys again. You have it uh, again. Sorry, I'm mixing English and Swedish. This one looks a bit boring. Nice rain, though, but you want it to be a bit more straight. So you take the magic tool, the dubbing needle, and you gently press your thumb towards that one now i did it a, a, a bit strong but let's have a look now it's like close to perfect yeah so let's tie that one in And you always have this feather on the back back side of um, the topping, the small one. I just removed that one. Yeah, that that's the way to manage crest period. Uh, uh, it, it makes a huge difference. Before I learned that one, uh, yeah, my flies look look like rubbish, to be honest. Because then you get this nice flow and the lovely rain of of the the feather. Now, if you have a look, I'm just going to press it down gently and lift that one. I want them to become like one. There we go. Classic flies I've been tying for about 20 years. But uh, I had a, a few breaks in between, you know, raising kids and so on. And then I got hooked on uh, the tropical uh, fly fishing, you know, in, in uh, the Caribbean, Cuba, Venezuela, Belize. For tarpon, boomfish, permit. So I completely lost all, you know, um, all, all the energy to, to 
even go out and try to catch like a sea trout or salmon because I know, you know, I better I just go to the Caribbean and I can hook like a, you know, oil tanker <laughs> compared to it. So, so just a, a monster. Um, but now uh, I think, you know, it, it, it cost it cost way too much for me to do that uh, every second year. It's like uh, six, seven thousand euros or, or dollars minimum just for the fishing trip. And uh, it's not really fair towards the family and so on. So uh, I, I did I catch it like a trophy permit and a, a trophy a tarpon and trophy bonefish. So I, I would say I, I'm done with it. You know, I can't catch. Maybe I can catch a bigger tarpon, but I will never catch a bigger permit. So I'm going to put all my efforts back into the salmon fly fishing, fly tying, you know, those kind of things. It's still expensive. It, it, it's not for free uh, do, doing salmon fishing, but, but at least it's manageable. Uh, so that's what I'm into now, um, really. So now we're gonna put on some horns on this fly. Um, let me just find, I'm running out of red parrot. You know, anybody know a good source of uh, red uh, proper Macau? Because I can't find it. It's really hard to find. And I don't use much, so I just need a, like a piece. If somebody knows a good source, I would be grateful. I noticed the other day, oh, actually it was today, I did a... Uh, Look into Feathers MC, you know, for, for stuff, but but all the materials is uh, out of stock almost. Um, at least the, the things I would like to order. Oh, that's nice, Robert. That's that's close. The, the close, closest location I have uh, for salmon fishing would be, I think, four hours away. The access to Yeezy is quite good, I would say. Uh, not in Sweden at all, but uh, from, from UK and Ireland. Uh, however, I haven't ordered it since... UK left the European Union because now you know uh, everything coming from UK is from the enemy side of the world <laughs> so you need need to pay v VAT and you know uh, maybe the custom looks uh, throughout your package and uh, if you have GC then hmm uh, might not be the best of things to have since uh, Overall, it's a protected species. So, uh, yeah, I haven't tried to order that uh, so far, but you know, I got I got plenty so far. And uh, yeah, if I'm traveling to UK also, uh, I might buy buy locally. That, then it's easier. In, of case, uh, in UK, you have my favorite gin ever. Uh, the the gunshot from uh, uh, Gin Booty. My God, you don't you don't blend that one. You drink it like a whiskey or, or a rum. It's fantastic. 
Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. You really need to be careful uh, nowadays and, and uh, um, be, be very aware because it's up to you to be aware what you can buy and not buy. So that's why, you know, I got my old stuff. Um, it's okay for now. So I think it does look good with two toppings on. Now I'm going to make a massive hurl head. Just going to cut all the stems and so on in the front here. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad, I must say. I'm pretty pleased. It's not perfect in any way, but it's it's a uh, black Argus tide live. Uh, maybe the first in the world ever being tied live. And on Friday the evening, I think I scheduled it uh, the same time as now. Uh, I'm gonna tie in hand. It was a, a long time ago since I did that, but I need to practice that skill because when I go fishing in the summer, I'm gonna br bring tying material and so on, so I can tie any fly I want or might need but I will not bring advice. So I need to tie a bit in hand. I might do a few blackers and uh, cork series uh, from, from Ireland, uh, great, great patterns. And also nice to tie in hand really. So I'm just going to leave the thread in the back and then it's going to have, of course, it's turning the wrong way, yeah? Always. So let's reset the hurl until it's in the right angle I want. But there's still a lot of fluff here from the the token. So what I normally do now I think it was the Green Highlander Kelson the last time I tied in hand for uh, Yashihiro's uh, collection. Uh, or was that earlier? It might be uh, Megan Boyd. Um, but I'm actually go, going to uh, do a Megan Boyd pattern in hand uh, on Friday, uh, just to give some credit to that uh, uh, fantastic lady. Um, so it's a Megan Boyd pattern on Friday. Hello. Oh, I completely forgot what I was doing. So I have a, like a black marker because now I'm going to start the hurl from the start and going back. And then I don't want to uh, put too much varnish on. Of course, I will put the varnish on, but I'm just going to put the black uh, waterproof marker and just color everything in the front black else too much is gonna show 
like a white dot and uh, yeah that's not really nice so let me just pull that fiber up a bit oh, i'm gonna pull that one downwards There we go. Of course, Dave, I can teach you. No problem at all. We do, you know, since we're going to fish this summer. But I think you can do it already. I don't need to teach you. Uh, you're, you're a fantastic uh, fly tie, mate. Maybe you can teach me. <laughs> I, I think that's uh, more true. You can teach me a lot uh, regarding uh, those lovely patterns you tie. So let's see if this is long enough or too short. Yeah. We're going to be close. Very, oh, very close. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to tie this one in, securing it, a few wraps. And then I just gonna cut it. And then applying. Hi Jon. How are you, buddy? <clears throat> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you too came. This uh, everybody can teach me something. You you can teach me to catch a fish. <laughs> teach me to catch a, a Baltic salmon fly. Yeah, that that you can do. Oh, oh not the salmon fly, but the salmon. They they are oh they are evil. <clears throat> So now it looks really fat and, and crazy. So I'm gonna moisten my fingers and just work gently backwards. It's really gonna compact, but then I'm gonna wait until it dries and then I'm gonna brush it out. And Dave, since you're here now, I did some investment in some uh, wireless uh, microphones. Good stuff. <clears throat> so, just gonna play around a bit. Put it where I want it. And 
imagine I brush this one out. I'm going to do it in like uh, 15 minutes. I'm just going to let it set there uh, so far. And then uh, I'm going to take a photo and update the thumbnails for this video. But just in case, <clears throat> since I changed the camera. Oh yeah, it's gonna be for, for all the films we're doing up north uh, above the polar circle in uh, Sweden, Norway and so on. Uh, so, so it's gonna be nice. Uh, on Friday we do, uh, I do um, tie in hand. Uh, Megan Boyd pattern, fantastic. You guys gonna love it. Uh, and Saturday and Sunday, I was intending to do the lap wing, but I'm not sure I'm gonna do that because it was the fairy bluebird feathers that would really made that um, pattern because it's the same, you know, that, that's the color. Uh, nothing else gonna really make it justice and um, since that skin is uh, worth a fortune like uh, 1295 dollars uh, it might be stupid for me just to uh, destroy that skin um, so guys what you want me to uh, tie uh, during the weekend A pattern uh, I can do half Saturday and half Sunday, or I might even be, you know, if it's a simpler pattern, I can do a pattern Saturday and a new pattern on Sunday. May Queen, oof. Yeah, I, I have like one pair of feathers I can tie the May Queen on, and that's fly is for you, Dave. Yeah, I know it uses the whole ramp of uh, the fairy bluebird, and I I get the whole skin intact. But yeah, I don't really want to ruin that skin. Yeah, Dave has no vote, so everybody else can can vote because Dave is out of the picture of voting for today. <laughs> Thank you, David. So guys. Uh, write in the chat with, um, which pattern you would like me to tie um, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, Green Highlander is not an option and Jock Scott is not an option. Everything is up. Everything else is okay. And except uh, May Queen because I, I only have one try on that one. And uh, I promise uh, Dave a uh, May Queen. I'm going to tie for him. Uh, yeah. That's it. Come on, guys. Work the chat. I want to have su suggestions for, from you guys, uh, what you want me to tie. Queen of Spring. Oh, cool. Let me get the pen. The pen and the paper. The pen I got. Do I have any paper? Yes, I do. Just going to fold it a couple of times. Cork collection. I hear you, buddy. That I can tie in hand. So. I got Daryl, I'm gonna um, have my wife, I'm gonna put like a, a small um, paper bits with the, the pattern names. Uh, and, oh, Dave is still voting, eh? <laughs> <coughs> and I'm gonna put them in, in a, like a, a, a basket or something and then my wife gonna pick uh, which pattern I'm gonna tie. And uh, if it's easy, then, uh, ah, Darren's wood. Okay, cool. 
So then Dave and let me see, Daryl, Queen of Spring. Okay, so Queen of Spring two times. Uh, Queen of Spring X2. Yes, I know I need, need to have two tickets for that one. Yeah, it doesn't need to be hard because then I can tie a pattern on su uh, Saturday and another one on Sunday. So, so that's even better. Then it's two different videos. Um, let me see. Queen of Spring, the Timothy uh, uh, Cork Collection. And then we have... Nicholson, yeah, I have a video of that one, and I, I did a twist on it. Uh, I made it uh, uh, far harder than uh, I had to. Uh, I think I did that one for, uh, could it be uh, three weeks ago? Oh, maybe, oh my God. I think I did the, that here. I had a tying event with a friend. And we tied Nicholson, but I didn't do a video of it. So, Daryl, you're right. Uh, Nicholson, okay. And there's a few different uh, versions of it. Uh, I'm going to select the, the, the hardest one possible. Uh, Nicholson. Let me see so I don't miss anything. Queen of Spring, Core Collection. Ah, oh, black, black Panel. Let me write that one up, even if Dave is not allowed to vote. Panel. <laughs> uh, Red Sandy. Hmm. Spring fly number one. I think I've done that. Is it that with the, the, um, the hurl? You have black hurl uh, for all the sections. If that's the case, I've done it. Uh, let, let me just write it out. Red Sandy. Uh, spring fly number one. Why is nobody saying ghost fly number three or number four? Just wondering. Any more votes? <laughs> yeah, it's it's good I got you here, David. Maybe you should be the one picking which pattern we should tie. <laughs> Any suggestion more from, from you, David, since uh, uh, Daryl uh, uh, added two? Uh, oh, Daryl is, is, is on a run here, yeah? <clears throat> Queen of Spring, Queen of Spring, okay. Queen of Spring times three. Uh, so simple as that, it's gonna be Queen of Spring uh, Saturday. I, I haven't looked at the pattern yet. So, so uh, if it's difficult, it's gonna be Saturday, Sunday, if not, then I just do it Saturday and then I do another one on Sunday. But Queen of Spring is the winner. Uh, yeah, maybe you haven't counted who, how many votes everybody put in, but I, I have like three, uh, three times, X3. And then the rest gonna be selected from my, oh, it's not difficult, cool. 
so then uh, my wife gonna select uh, um, the one I do on uh, on uh, Sunday. Yeah, but it, no problem. Uh, last time I was in uh, in uh, uh, the Irish Fly Fair, which uh, uh, Galway. Yeah, uh, the first day I did uh, like three pop them uh, in a row. Uh, and uh, then uh, two others the day after, so you know, I can tie quick. Yeah, I'm gonna look in my new blackie book uh, for sure. But now uh, the weekend is uh, booked. Now we have stuff to do. Okay, guys, that's everything for today. Uh, I'm I'm really really thankful for you guys spending time watching my videos and uh, tying flies with me. Uh, it's just amazing. I'm looking forward to Friday to tie in hand and uh, and see you guys uh, then if you have time. Um, so for today, I'm gonna give you guys a big heart. Let's see if uh, yeah, there we are. Some graphics as well. Uh, Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm going to start the same time as today. Uh, so uh, I hope everybody will have the time to see it. Else, of course, it's going to be as normal. You can see it after. But it, it's not as fun. It's always more fun to follow it live. Uh, but, you know, everybody has a life. Uh, I respect that. And, uh, you know, things happen. And, uh, yeah. Who knows, you need to make the dishes or whatever, or do the cooking, and then you're late or you miss it. But, yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks for today. See you on Friday.